Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand REST API request method. REST API request method means what kind of methods which we can use while sending the request to the server. So we have few common type methods like get, post, put, delete, patch, and few more we have head, options, and trace. So these are the common methods like we are going to use very commonly get, post, put, delete, and patch. These are the methods which are also available, but they are used very rarely. I'm going to explain you each and every method like in which case what method we need to use. So first is get method. Get type of request or I'll say the request with the get method is used only when we want to fetch some data from the server. Like we have an application in which we can search some data. I'm sending a request and it will return some search data. So whenever we want to fetch some data from the server, whenever we want to make search on the server, in that kind of scenario, we are going to use get request and we can call it retrieve like we are retrieving some data from server. Next is post. Post kind of request we are going to use when we are creating new resource on the server. We can understand it like I have an application uh, having the customer details. If I want to get customer detail, like any customer detail I want to fetch from the server, in that case, I'm going to use get method. But if I want to enter a new customer to the server, so whenever you want to enter the new customer to the server, we are going to use post. So whenever we add new data or I'll say new resource to the server, in the later, we are going to use Jira API in this course. So I'll take example from the Jira. Everybody is aware about Jira is a bug tracking tool. So whenever we want to get details of any bug, we are going to use get method. But whenever we want to add a new bug to the application or I'll say new bug to the Jira, in that case, we are going to use post method. Next, we have put method. Whenever we want to update some data, like I have reported a bug, but I want to update its summary or the description. In that kind of scenario, when we want to update data on the server, in that case, we can use put method. So whenever we want to update data, in that kind of scenario, we are going to use put method. Next is delete. Whenever we want to delete some data or I'll say some resources from the server. So if I want to delete data or the resources from the server, in that case, we are, we are going to use delete method. Like I have a bug on the server, which I have mistakenly added and I want to delete the data. I want to delete the bug from the server. In that case, we are, we are going to use delete method. So when we want to delete data. Next is patch. Patch is one of the important method and it is quite similar to the put method. So whenever we are using put, like I have a bug in which I have entered five fields, summary, description, reported by, assigned to and the priority. But I want to update only description. But still, if you are using put method, we will have to send all the details to the server. Like I need to send five details out of that one will be updated value. That is put method. But if you want to send only updated details like out of the five, only one field need to be updated. So in that case, I'll send only one updated field and I'll use patch method. Patch means we are sending only updated data. Rest of the data I'm not sending. Keep it same. So difference between the put and patch is that in case of the put, we'll have to send all the data, updated field as well as original field. But in case of the patch, we will send only updated data. We are not going to send original data, means the data which we want to keep same. So same as put, but no need to send
data which you do not want to update now we have three more methods head options and trace and we are going to use these methods very rarely so head method will be used whenever you want to get only header in response like if I'm sending a request to the server we are getting two sections one is the header and other one is the body in header we are going to get like what all the cookies value what all the content type of the response as well as in body we are going to get actual response from the server this head is quite similar to the get but we are going to get only header in the response we are not going to get body whenever we don't want to validate the body of the response i want to check whether we are getting the correct response code or not in that kind of scenario we are going to use head method next is options whenever we hit any api how do i know what kind of method this api is supporting means can we use this api for the get post put delete what kind of methods we can use we can use this options method and in response we will get all the method which we can use while hitting a particular api so it is going to give only the methods which we can use while this api means while hitting any api last is trace trace means i want to check what is the format of my request whenever we are hitting any request we don't know what kind of header we are sending to the server what is the body content we are sending to the server i want to see everything which i send to the server we can use trace method what the trace method is going to do whatever we send to the server like whatever the header we have sent to the server whatever the body we have sent to the server in response we are going to get same header and same body so we can check what was our request header what was our request body because this trace method is going to send back same data to us so we can use it for the de debugging purpose only so here we have seen normally we have eight kind of methods which we can use while making the request while sending the request to the server hello friends hope you are enjoying our videos here we have created a lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers this is the list of our courses we have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in dollar 200 if you want to buy any 10 courses you can take it in dollar 100 and you can buy any individual course in dollar 15 you can contact us on email or the number which i have provided for these videos